Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. I've been using these labbers that I made for the Sherline Chucks for the Lorch Lathe quite a bit, and they are pretty good. One of them, however, got a bit of a bend in it when I was trying to undo it, so they're quite soft, they're quite thin in here, and not really the, the best. So I've straightened it up and it's running pretty true. But I think because I made them out of tool steel, it would be a good opportunity to, to harden them. And we've got the equipment. So first thing is to get some metal or some white spirit, or whatever you call it in your part of the world, and clean the dirt off them, because they have had a bit of use. Try and keep most of the fingerprints and things off them. Now, I'm learning about this, and probably it's like banging my head against a brick wall. And it's like banging a head against a brick wall of anyone who happens to be teaching me, because it's all new stuff for me. I've got some stainless foil. some stainless steel foil which wasn't real cheap actually it's, it's not really a, a particularly cheap Not a particularly cheap commodity. And there's the ice cream man, Sunday afternoon. I'm going to put a couple of match heads in here. I'm not sure really 100% whether they do much. Um, but they might stop some of the oxygen. Now this might not work for everyone and it's just really the knowledge that I've picked up and this might change next time I do it and we may have different results but I don't really want to mess these parts up because there's a lot of work in this for a couple of people and it's sort of important to get them right. But we've got two packages. in stainless steel foil and we'll put them in the oven so they're in there now we want these to heat treated about 980 they want to soak it's now D2 is air hardening tool steel so it should just harden in, in air um, if we just take them out and let them cool, they should be good enough. But we need to have this ramp up to about 760 Celsius and soak for half hour. And then we need to have it ramp up to heat treat temperature, which is 980 Celsius. And have it soak there for 30 minutes. Then we want an alarm to let us know it's done and we need to take them out so 
that's the program we need for this. I've taken the the controller out. We've just got a hole. So this is telling us it's 24 degrees inside the oven, which is about what it is here. It's a nice day. Um, ramp starts at 41 in this program. So if we press this and we'll go to E program is yes. So the program cycle is geared to run. And we'll go to program yes. and turn the heat on just make sure that is warming up we're ready to go so I'm gonna let this warm up and this will slowly ramp up to 760 over 20 minutes and then it'll soak at 760 Celsius for half hour and then it'll take another 20 minutes to ramp up to temp to, to hardening temperature which is 980 so at this point fingers crossed everything's going to work programmable electronics and logic controllers are not my strong point at all i have trouble working out i'm a bit dyslexic and i have trouble getting things in the right order i think is probably if we're going to be if we're going to break it down to that level, that's probably where I'm at with it. But at um, this point, we've got it going. So this is starting to warm up. Uh, it's up to 28 degrees. This is starting to come up to... I think this will catch up to that without too many problems if we leave the door shut. So we'll have a bit of a look in a minute. GoPro stop recording. So we're up to 760 and it's been soaking there for a few minutes um, but it'll take half an hour to get these warm through at 760 and then it'll start to lift up to once once we've we've left enough margin I think so that these will be hot all the way through for after 30 minutes and then it'll ramp up to full temperature and soak again so we're getting there so we're about 50 minutes into this cycle it's just come off the the 760 soak and it's starting to ramp up again now to 980 so it's getting pretty hot in there uh, 980 is about 1800 fahrenheit so that's pretty warm this will keep going up slowly it's going to take 20 minutes to get there and then it's going to soak for another half hour just to make sure that they're hot all the way through and we'll take them out and have a look so we've been at 980 for half hour everything in here is going to be really hot we'll flick the heat off before we open it I flick the noise off too. And like I said, everything in here is really hot. And we better let it cool down. We're going to burn something. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to have to move the camera before it melts. So let's do that and we'll let them cool down to where they can sort of be touched. Let the oven cool off and we'll have a go at tempering them up. So we've cooled them down to where the book says that we should, which is about 60 degrees, something like that. And put them back in the oven the oven's dropped a fair bit um, I'm going to bring it back up to 510 this is actually starting at 40 which is where our program started 
but we'll bring it back up to 510 which is about 950 celsius something like that which seems to be the the sweet spot for tempering this stuff i'm going to let it soak for two hours um so that's the rest of the evening we'll let it soak and then we'll unwrap them and have a bit of a look so that's coming up nicely the thermocouple or the programs come up to 70 and the thermocouple is actually at 8 432 so it's still dropping a little bit 433 it will equalize out and then it'll come back up to 510 so hopefully that'll be a good place to to sort that out we'll have an alarm when it's finished so we know and we'll have a look when we're done so these are sort of cool enough to unwrap now the stainless steel had a bit of a, a bit of a cane And this is what I've got. They actually don't look too shabby, or that one doesn't. A little bit of light scale on here um don't think it's anything that's not going to wire brush off and i'm pleased about that they look like they're all sort of pretty much the size still it's still a bit warm so i'm going to leave them a bit longer Um, it's Sunday night here. The Carter Steam Fair live steam um, vintage fun fair. I have an update on Facebook and probably Instagram too about this time. Um, it's worth checking out. Carter Steam Fair, I'll give them a shout out because they're, they're sort of pretty pretty cool bunch of guys to, to catch up with um, I might go and watch that and come back and see how these look so I've gone through these pretty well I've given them a good clean up with a um, rubberized abrasive and discovered that all the threads still go together okay which is really good this chuck's seen a fair bit of work since I've had it so it needs a good pull apart and clean again now but it's a pretty good little chuck could do with a bit of a clean up too but um, threads are still pretty good on the back and the threads on the front are pretty good um, that one I did up tight uh, we'll get them undone if we, if we really try easiest way to take them off is probably in the lathe because that's not going to move it's too slippery um, but this thread's really pretty good still keys all look pretty good this is all nice and smooth and grey really like the finish on them still got to put the dust covers back on which isn't a big deal they'll need a touch of Loctite probably but They'll go back on nice and square. And we're going to call that job done. Did test them. Um, 
they're not as hard as I probably had really expected. The green hardness tester file. Just about marks them. Which is 55RC. That's probably about where they want to be. 55, 56. I reckon that's about what they are. So pretty happy with that. One of these has been dropped and this is distorted on the back. I don't think it's really affected anything much. It's just a draw bar thread. But I reckon they're probably not going to bend again. So I'm going to call that done. Really pleased with them. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks Stan for an awesome oven again. Uh, go and check out his channel and Barzi Industrial. They're still available and they sell them like hot cakes, but they're a really nice little oven. And let's have a bit of a look at what we can do with it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and be kind to each other and more soon guys and girls.